Let me kill him, man. No. We got no time to be patient. Your woman, she be getting sick. I promise you, she'll not die here on Earth. I promise somebody will. Believe me, he's the least of our problems. You're talking crazy. The hunter be dangerous. A fool sees not the same tree a wise man sees. I'm no fool, man. You must have a little faith, my friend. Without contraries, there's no progression. How can you trust any of their kind? We have been manipulated by them, correct? Now they're going to see exactly what lies on the other side of the horizon. How long have I been here, Lucy? How do you know my name? I saw your things at Runciter's. Did you feel bad when they killed those animals? They were so pretty and sweet. I hoped Father wouldn't do it. But Mr. Runciter deserved retribution. That's what Father said. Why? Because he treated me bad, like I belonged to him. I'm sorry. Are you really the hunter, like Father says? It's my job. Why? What do you have against us? Nothing. It's just... the law. Would you hurt me? I promise you I won't. <laughs> Father will be back soon. It felt and smelled like real cheese. Dairy products were choice contraband, scarce and mucho expensive. Selling them was a class A felony. Hysteria Hall was an arcade down near Nightclub Row. Nothing else there. Strange. You let them in my room? They had a warrant, mister. What was I supposed to do? They took my pictures. Couldn't stop them. How about me? You think I'm easier to stop? Who the hell are you? McCoy, LPD. LPD, huh? Maybe you guys can return something to me. How do you know we got it? One of your own. Veda my property. Bad haircut. Stupid coat. The other guy. What other guy? Go play dumb. What about him? Nothing. I just thought you were gonna arrest me, that's all. I don't care about your little run-in with the manager, okay? I'm looking for a couple of replicants. Can't help you there, friend. Maybe the clerk can tell me who was renting that room back there. Why were you hassling him? You let these creeps in my room. I'm a very private person. What have they got against you? Nothing, friend. I ain't done nothing. We're all innocents, aren't we? Damn straight. And I don't like people asking questions either. Just help me out here a little more. You seen a big Rasta guy around here? Or a guy with a beard and dark eyes? A Rasta? What's that? He's got dreadlocks. Talks with an accent. Oh. No, I ain't seen no one like that. Look. My mother's waiting for me. You stick around. Maybe the manager will come back. I didn't know who was working this side of the pool, but whoever it was, they'd been pretty thorough going through the joint. I doubted if there was anything I could find that hadn't already been snagged and bagged.
The car looked a lot like the one I'd been tracking. The driver had been smart enough to pull the license plate, but the vehicle identification number was still there. If I ran it through the mainframe back at the station, I could ID the owner. The wrapper was from a vendor I knew. Best lichen dogs in the fourth sector. That wasn't saying a whole lot, but with an arcade next door and a dozen nightclubs down the street, Mia and Murray's stand saw more action in a night than my spinster aunt saw all last century. Yes? I'm looking for J.F. Sebastian. That's me. McCoy, LPD. You had a break-in? I... I don't think I called anyone. I was already here. I was chasing one of the perpetrators. Well, everything's all right now. I'm pretty sure I can handle it. You may think you can, but believe me, you can't. Better if I check it out. Well, if you insist. I don't think they took anything. I don't really have anything here of any value. You work for Tyrell Corporation? Yes, sir. I'm one of the principal design engineers for Dr. Tyrell. He's a very nice man. You know, he even fronted me the money to buy this building. It's a landmark, you know. You really should see the front edifice. They put some amazing detail into it. You feeling all right? Oh, sure. I'm fine. You wouldn't be hiding anybody, would you? No, sir. There's nobody here but me and my friends. What friends? Good evening, Jeff. Evening, General. See? I make friends. He almost looks real. He's plenty real enough for me. And real good company, too. Look, I gotta check the premises again. Maybe they left something behind. Well, if you want to take a look, go on ahead. I can't stop you. But please be careful in my lab. You got it. Resuming interrupted print job. DNA research. Incept dates. A lot of jargon, but I'd bet my spinner it was valuable to somebody. You know the design subcons down in the row, Miraji and Chu? I've heard of them, but I've never seen them. I don't go in for the parties and stuff, and I never go down to the row. You sure you don't have much valuable stuff around here? Anything worthwhile I probably would have sold a long time ago. All this is personal stuff wouldn't mean a whole lot to anyone but me. Maybe they were looking for you. Oh no, I'm nobody. You ever work with a Dr. Eisendoller? We're in different fields. I'm in basic biogenetic design, and he works on the practical application of off-world physics. He seems to be a very nice man. Who happens to be dead. Dead? He was murdered, probably by a replicant. But replicants aren't allowed on Terra. But they're here, nonetheless. And who do you think they'll start looking for next? Talk to me about the twins. You mean Luther and Lance? They were Dr. Terrell's favorites until he let them go. Nobody really knows why, either. You think they hold a grudge against Tyrell? Maybe, but they're decent fellows, Mr. McCoy. I don't think they'd ever do a mean thing to anybody. They're real smart, too, almost as smart as Dr. Terrell. Maybe they're too smart to keep around. Too much competition for the old man. Oh, they could never take Dr. Terrell's place. How about this? Do you think they're the type who might help out renegade replicants? You... you're a Blade Runner, aren't you? Bingo. But you said you were here about the burglary. 
The guys who broke in might be replicants. What in the world would a replicant want from me? You worked on the Nexus 6 series, didn't you? Just a little bit. Would you say that the 6s are smarter than the old 4s and 5s? They're supposed to be. Stronger and more agile, too. So, maybe they want to learn more about themselves. Maybe they want to pick your brain about their brains. I think you should leave now, Mr. McCoy. Mainframe and shooting range. Uploading personal clue database. The mainframe confirmed what I'd already guessed. The car from Chinatown was the same vehicle that had smacked the hydrant at Runciter's. The car was registered to a woman named Dectora. She'd bought it from a used car lot in the fourth sector. I ran the name through records and came up empty. The used car lot checked out clean too, but maybe the owner could tell me something. Moon bus. That guy sure gets around. Give me a hard copy of that. Give me a hard copy of that. That can't be me. Give me a hard copy of that. That's damn strange. Give me a hard copy of that. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. That weapon shipment just came in. You got the paperwork handy? Why? You got a pressing need to rummage through my private files? Yeah, I forgot you were keeping your lacy under things in there. Look, Jack, I just want to see what they're charging for a crate of rifles these days. Too damn much if you ask me, especially at the rate the assault teams are losing them. I guess there ain't no harm in it. Ground floor. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
It was the trickster. He said Pat doesn't have a mink coat. She's got a good Republican cloth coat. That's all. You're wrong, sweetie. It was Herbert Hoover. I'm sorry, but I was there. Well, if anything, you were all of three years old back then. I still remember it, like it was yesterday. And he said fur coat, not mink. I saw it on the discovery disc. You guys still battling it out? That's what keeps a marriage alive and kicking, Ray. Uh, what can we do you for? The works. Coming right up. You know anything about politics, Ray? Famous quotes, things like that? I try not to. How about the checker speech? Never heard of it. Well, Hoover's checker speech. Nixon's checker speech. <laughs> You're forgetting a lot, your old age. <laughs> Right behind you, lady. You know where I could score some cheese? Like this stuff? Oi, don't flesh that around here. He's the police, sweetie. Besides, the kids today just as soon twist a knife in your backside as to ask Virginian for the tram home. Show that cheese around here, you become a marked man. Who sells it? Now, we aren't asking for any trouble, Ray. I'm not working, Bunko. I just want some information. That nutty board who runs Kingston Kitchen. She's always bragging about her special ingredient. That stew she makes, it always did taste a little gamey. And she charges an arm and leg for it, too. I found this wrapper. Yeah, that's from one of our dogs. You ever seen this girl around here? Maybe in the arcade? Oh, yes! I saw her come out of the arcade yesterday. No, it was the day before. Maybe you saw her both days. No, I'm positive. It was yesterday. You're positively wrong. It was two days ago, sure as God made little green apples. You're getting Alzheimer's, sweetie. Okay, okay, just forget it. Be good, you two. It's a killer, I kid you not. Only 35 thou. Yeah, red, orange, blue, puke, green, any color you want. Just give me 24 to hose the graffiti off. Just kidding. Ask for the man, Crazy Legs Larry, to Lou. Admiring that bishy cat, ain't you? I don't blame you. It's a classic ride in a deluxe sport package. It'll push 125 without so much as a shake. Of course, you gotta find the road for it. That's always the problem. Crazy Legs, Larry Hirsch. Pleased to meet you. Ray McCoy. You can call me Crazy, you can call me Larry. You can even call me Crazy Legs Larry. But don't call me if you don't think a hot set of wheels ain't necessary. Okay. The Bishi's exceptional. Mechanical is Pacific Rim flawless, as usual. But they also saved some of the classic styling of the old GM days. Looks like a piece of work. Forget those fibroplast Filipino heaps everyone's driving around. This is real. Just feast your eyes on this. You see it? You see it? That's actual chrome, the real stuff. They saved a couple hundred sheets of Tijuana chrome from before the war. It's completely legal and everything. Beautiful, isn't it? I don't think I've ever seen it before. And you probably won't ever see it again unless you steal this puppy. And honestly, no. Frankly, I gotta tell you, it's got your name written all over it. Ray McCovey. McCoy. Eh, give it, take a couple letters. I'll have to think about it. But don't think too long or too hard about it, Roy. It's liable to be gonzo by the time you come back. Gotcha. You sell a black sedan a few days ago? Black sedan? Hey, I got standards. If it ain't sporty, I got no room for it. I've seen the registration. I know a woman bought it from you. Oh, oh, that sedan. Hey, look, a sexy blonde wants to pay top dollar for the ugliest car in the place. Who am I to say no? Did you know who she was? No, but I'd like to know her in the biblical sense if you catch what I'm saying. Look, Ray, it ain't a crime for me to make a living. How about this girl? She look familiar? <laughs> you kidding? She ain't old enough to drive. You've never seen her? She looks kind of familiar. Think real hard. 
Then maybe you should try that arcade next door. She looks like the kind of girl you see there all the time. I'll do that. Locked. Locked. That sucks. Hey, Ray, how you doing? Just fine, crazy. You've been thinking about the caddy, haven't you? I don't blame you. She keeps me up at night, too. And I ain't ever even lip-wrestled in the back seat. Which is definitely what's in the cards for a stud of your caliber. Throw in a babe and maybe you got a deal. No sweat, I'll have one over in a jiffy. Not just kidding. I've been looking for you. Please, leave me alone. Father told me to watch out for you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Have you always lived on Terra? Yes. Father told me he thought Terra would be so special and beautiful. Birds and flowers and trees and blue water. But it's not like that at all. I don't remember it ever being like that. Can you take me to your father? I don't think he'd like that. I don't know where he is, anyway. Why'd they kill Runciter's animals? I didn't want them to. But Father, he was so angry. And Sadiq said Mr. Runciter deserved it for treating me that way. It's so funny. I'm worth less than those animals. I guess I should hate them, but I don't. So, all the animals were real? Mr. Runciter also used to buy some of the... others. Artificial. He used to tell me that he was protected. But they came from somebody close to the source. Who else was there that night? Father and Uncle Zubin. Come with me. I've got a test I want you to take. Is this scale from a fish? Same as other one. Not fish. Snake scale. What other one? Other police show me scale from same snake. I send him to Abdul Hassan. How could you tell I was police? Both of you walking around look confused. Like you in wrong place. Any luck finding more of that dragonfly jewelry? Oh, see, see, I was right. The piece you show me was part of a collection, bought for a nightclub in Fort Second. You know the name of the nightclub owner? No, senor. But my friend, he says the man is not certain. Thanks for your help. You got any discs from that camera? I just served drinks, pal. But if you're gonna sit there until I cough it up, well, here it is. Mia and Murray tell me you're using cheese in your stew. Real cheese. Dim old buzzards. What they know? I could take a sample of that stew you're cooking back to the lab and have it tested. Why you pick on Mama Isabella? I never do you no harm. 
Where'd you get it? My sister. She got connections. Where can I find her? She back in Jamaica, man. Far away from here. She send me cheese once, maybe twice a month. You know, funny thing you asking about the cheese. Last week, this ugly little man, he run by, grab whole box of empty takeout cartons right off the counter. Police next door, they just laugh. Say the guy not be so happy when he opened them cartons. <laughs> What's that have to do with the cheese? Cheese hidden in that box, man. Keeping it safe till I cook up a new batch. So how could I tell police to bring back box? They find cheese, they shut me down. This guy who robbed you, what'd he look like? Shard. Real shard. Bad clothes. Colors way too bright. Funny bow tie. Maybe you look for this ugly little thief, yeah? I'm thinking you not really care about the cheese. You're right, but I still think you ought to get yourself a different secret ingredient. You bet, man. That cheese been nothing but trouble for Mama Isabella. Pour me one. Just one? One, but one good one. Mainframe and shooting range. Another retirement in the fourth sector today as a Blade Runner shot an alleged replicant in the middle of a crowded street. Lieutenant Edison Gusa, supervisor of the LPD's Rep DTEC unit, had this to say. It was a good, clean takedown. The public should thank us for retiring these skin jobs before they get into any real trouble. You want to get that thing out of my face before it ends up shooting film where the sun don't shine? Scanning video disk. One enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. China bar. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. Guza? Give me a hard copy of that. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. You look right at home in there, Izo. 